Hi garden friends, welcome to our garden. Today I'll be making a simple garden soup with a lot of vegetables, but before I do that, I need to pick all of these peppers that are, we're at the end of the season here and there are a lot of peppers I will be harvesting and then freezing. And I do have a video about how I freeze my peppers. These are very mild peppers. I kind of treat them like a bell pepper and I will clean them up and put them in the freezer and they'll be ready to go when I want to use some peppers in my meals. Most of the time I call these peppers, but I'm pretty sure this bush right here is a hatch chili bush and it produced a lot of these chili peppers. And like I said, they're pretty mild. So I will freeze them up and right next door here is the bell pepper bush that is kind of a variety of a bell pepper. So I mix them all up together and we like peppers and chilies and I'll just use them the same in the same way. It's also time to begin harvesting the mandarin oranges. I have one that I'm sure is ripe and it's the very first one. This is a newer tree to our garden and I'm going to enjoy harvesting and enjoying these tiny satsuma mandarin oranges. So the first thing for my soup today is I'm going to look in the pots for some potatoes and I did dig around and I found just a few of these very small potatoes but I'm going to be adding them to my soup today. I was out in the garden I was also surprised to find that I had these beautiful strawberries I'm going to start my soup harvest with some celery. I'll choose one or two stalks before I get some herbs. Here is some basil I'll be adding to the soup. We always have kale in the garden, so I'm going to put some kale in the soup as well. Lots and lots of green beans. We always have 
green beans this time of year. Here's today's harvest and like I said most of this will be going into my very simple garden soup. First thing I did was I chopped up that celery and I pulled out from the freezer a bag of this yard sauce. I have a video about how I made my yard sauce and that'll be kind of a base for my soup today and I also have a jar of chicken broth from the freezer. I began with a little olive oil, celery, my broth that's still partially frozen, and I also added the yard sauce, which has a lot of herbs and spices already, so I will not need to add much to my soup. And I also added some of the fresh herbs that I picked today. After that broth had cooked for a while, I added my potatoes and I chopped up the green beans as well. Towards the end of the cooking time, I added a can of beans and a cup of elbow macaroni for a very simple soup. I also chopped up that kale at the end of the cooking time and I let that cook down for just a few minutes before serving this wonderful soup. 
we added a little Parmesan cheese on top at the table as we were eating and I served some of that fruit. I also, as this was cooking up, I went out to the garden. I picked some lettuce and I made a simple salad using the lettuce, tomatoes that I had harvested earlier and also I found a cucumber in the garden. This was a great, simple meal from our garden here in Southern California. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.